Well, they're hoping the ninth time is the charm at Amanda Clear Creek School. Yeah, the school district has put an income tax levy on the ballot to help with operating costs of the school to pay for everyday functions. Now, if the levy fails this time, they may face catastrophic cuts. Sean Lanier has more on what this levy is supposed to do. Often it comes down to how we spend money on students. Is the most important thing we can, can consider. These championship signs could become more of a distant memory because Amanda Clear Creek football could be done after this year. It's because the district would lose co-curricular and extracurricular activities along with 30 employees in advanced placement classes if this levy doesn't pass. So we've had no new income since December 31st. The last levy expired in December of 2016. This is the ninth time Amanda Clear Creek schools have placed a levy to increase taxes on a ballot. It failed eight times. The reason may have to do with the district's cash balance of $10 million. Superintendent J.B. Dick says without the levy, that money wouldn't last long. It doesn't take long for you to deplete any cash balance you have when you're spending two and a half, three million dollars a year more than you're bringing in. It's a two percent increase on earned income tax and it's for the next 15 years. The superintendent says it would create nearly three point five million dollars each year and would go toward paying teachers to mowing the yard to buying buses. All over you can see signs of support on cars and storefronts. There's a lot at stake and we all know that. Erin Davis is one of them. She runs a flower shop in town and is a graduate of Amanda Clear Creek. She adds this is very personal for her. You know, our kids aren't even in Amanda yet, but it's it's our hometown. It's where we were raised and we want them to go there. It was a great school for us and we know it will be for them as well. So that's why we're always on board. This is important to not just this school district, but it's important to this school community. And because um, this is the hub for about 1,400 kids. Now, NBC4 is your local election headquarters. We are on top of all the issues that you care about in your community. Be sure to tune in on Tuesday, Election Day, for complete coverage. And, of course, we're always online at NBC4i.com.